What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to Diz TV. If this is your first time here, welcome home. We are so glad to have you. A quick little haul that I picked up just before the end of the year for last year, 2020, and to kick off the new year with some fun things from the Disney store, which is great. I really hope you are excited. So let's go ahead and get started with our first item. We have two Walt Disney World items and two toy box items, so let's get right into it. The first item we have is a new mask. Now, they have made the masks with some new material, as far as I'm aware, and they also fit a little better onto my nose with my new glasses, so this is going to be kind of a test. It's also a extra large, and they're also like Compared to what it is at, like, Disney World, it's much, much cheaper. So, let's dive in to it. They had plenty of masks at the Disney store when I went. Good to see that. And holy cow, it is huge. So, let's go ahead and see if we can get it in frame here. Saying Walt Disney World, the vintage sign. And this is a little, a little, a little loose, but with some washing, it'll definitely be much tighter, but it does fit quite, quite nicely. Something I may wear to the parks this year, uh, if they are still required in October. But the next item I got, I'm knocking stuff over, the next item I got is some more socks. This was just too good to pass up, as you can see. They are Disney World themed socks themed around the Disney parks and stuff. Not necessarily just like Disney World, but just the Disney parks in general. They do have some pretty sweet stuff on them. I don't have a knife. That's okay. I just probably ruined the socks. Woo! Anyway, let's go ahead and knock these bad boys out. Look at that. These are going to be a lot of fun to wear. And I know exactly when I'm wearing them. So, so moving away from the Disney park stuff with both the mask and the socks, let's move on to some toy box items. As you guys know, I do collect the toy box action figures, and the new one we got, or at least one of them, is Darth Maul. These are pretty much 50% off. It cost me $8 for this. It's normally 12 so it's not necessarily fully 50% off, but it is still a good percentage off of the figure here. I've been wanting to break into this guy for, like, forever, and I need scissors. Tiny skizzers coming in handy. He is a little bit of an older figure. They have released a whole bunch more, but again, that 50% off could not be beat. I do already have the Disney Infinity figure, but this just was too cool. Too cool to pass up. And yeah, he is pretty dang sweet. As you can see here, has his double lightsaber here. Pretty, pretty sweet figure, but that is not all. I'm gonna have to clean that later. We also have to complete the Monsters Inc. because Monsters Inc. is my favorite Pixar movie. Randall and Mike. I had to pick this up. It's like $11 and it's normally like 19 so I, I had to, I had to. And also, it's Mike Wazowski and Randall. Also, Randall has some translucent pieces, so we're going to take a look at, look at that here. 
Snippy, snippy. And if you're wondering the back of the packaging, it's just Sully and Mike. So, or not Sully and Mike, but Sully and Boo is the other one. Though I know they are releasing a Simba relatively soon. They did have Sorcerer Mickey there, but I already have the Infinity figure, and I'm only collecting the ones that I really enjoy. The characters I really like. Or new characters that they didn't get to do. I'm sure I'll do a collection video at some point within the next couple weeks here. At least before I leave back to college. There's so many dies. So many dies. And you get a tie. And you get a tie. All I'm saying is these figures are well packaged. All I'm going to say. They don't really come with like... That was not smart. They don't really come with like accessories. But just to have like Disney fi like action figures to me is just worth it. We have Mike Wazowski here. We have Randall here. We're going to take a look at Randall first. Not much arm articulation. But look at the back here real quick. Like like translucent sides and self. That's not a word. Not bad. It's pretty solid. It's cool to have Randall though. Like you don't really get a Randall Boggs, so alright. Mikey time. He's hollow on the inside. Interesting. Yeah, he has the, oh, he's got a, he's got a, give me the mozzarella, little wrist action going here. I don't even know what the heck he's supposed to hold. Can I put him with a lightsaber? Yes. <laughs> I'm such a kid. Pretty, pretty sweet. Anyway. That is it. That is all I have for you in this video. Uh, kind of very impromptu, <laughs> it seems like, but I thought I'd test out one, this kind of background, um, and also just to see what it's like to talk about toys in front of the camera. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. I greatly appreciate it. And if you're new to the channel, again, a welcome home to you. Be sure to subscribe down below and hit the bell to be notified for more videos on Disney, Pixar, Marvel, Star Wars, the parks. Have a magical day, you guys, and good... Bye.